We are here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep Wrangler headquarters, and we are excited to announce and show today the brand new 2018 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon. This is one of the first JL Wranglers in the state, and we are excited to show it here. And from this video, we're gonna go around the entire vehicle so you can get a really good look at it, get a good idea of how it looks. The new design from afar, we'll get up close, we'll get into the options, we'll check it out inside and out, and hopefully give you a really good idea of what the new Wrangler is all about by the time we get done with the video. So this particular Jeep is the Rubicon package. It does come with the steel bumper package, which is kind of a neat deal. You used to always have to get the hard rock or one of the special editions to get the steel bumpers, but now they just make it a package. If you want the steel bumpers, you can just add those. So this is a Rubicon Unlimited with the steel bumpers. This one has the LED lighting group. You'll notice that it has the running lights that are in the front fenders. The LED lighting, lighting group gives you the LED lights on the ring there and it also gives the LED headlights along with the LED fog lights. So you get the steel front bumper, which is really cool, the red tow hooks. You can see that that grill has been recessed a little bit, a little bit rounded to get, give you better aerodynamics. They've done the same thing with the windshield, arched it back just a little bit to give you better aerodynamics that way. This one has the cowl hood. So it's a decrease in 9% on the drag of the vehicle by just doing a couple little things such as the grill here and the hood to give you better fuel economy on these vehicles. Also this is where your turn signal is. They redesigned the front fenders a little bit. This particular one has the BF Goodrich all-terrain KO2 tires. These are LT28570 R17s and they come with the 17 inch painted and polished aluminum alloy rims. You still get the little Wrangler painted in on the rim there. They've changed the frame from being just normal steel to high strength steel which lightens it up a little bit. Overall the entire vehicle has been lightened by around 200 pounds. This particular one has the color matched hard top. Now I don't think they've changed the hard top too much as far as how it goes on, how it stays on, how it's put together. Uh, they changed the interior just a little bit which we'll get to. Fenders are a little bit more rounded on this. I like the lines and the doors. They've made the doors lighter as well. They've made those out of aluminum now. So they're a lot lighter. One thing I like that they did is they've added which torques you need to get the doors off on the hinges here. So you definitely need a T50 to get those off, which is pretty, pretty ingenious of them. You'll never have to guess again. They've also made the windows bigger because that was another, I don't know, gripe among people who were driving them that you didn't have enough visibility out of them or there was limited visibility but they changed that. They made all the windows bigger. They've also added that every Wrangler comes with a backup camera to help with that visibility and safety. Adding to safety, they have backup sensors on this now. And on this particular one, it has blind spot monitoring as well. So you can now get blind spot monitoring on the uh, Wrangler or Wrangler Unlimited. LED tail lights on this one, as well as the LED license plate lights. The back storage area, I think they've made better as well. And you can see you got a couple tie down hooks back here, but now they've put the subwoofer, if you get the subwoofer, on the right side, kind of out of the way, so it's not taking up any space. If you all remember in the 15s, they had the subwoofer in the floor, 15 to 18 in the JK. And before that, they had a big subwoofer that came out here and kind of took up space. 
uh, especially if you had boxes or something it was just a little inconvenient right there well, now they've kind of put it back there out of the way and now you still get to keep all that storage space that you lost if you got the subwoofer in the floor they haven't changed much down here as far as your door hinge bolts and your roof bolts but then now they added the windshield bolts and why they did that is because they made the windshield a lot easier to put down another thing they added that I really like is you've got a little spot for your um, electrical and your windshield wiper fluid hose to put right there when you have the hard top off so that it has a place to sit that's not going to get damaged or wrecked before when you had it off you kind of had these wires just hanging out and you had to find a place to stuff them you can see that they changed the interior design of the hard top instead of just being you know kind of the material it was they kind of gave it a little bit of an eggshell texture to it still attached by the three bolts back here and uh, those seats do fold down you can see now they got the flaps on them to keep your uh, stuff from falling in between the seats which I think is part of the Rubicon package but they haven't changed much as far as the glass or the hinges or the uh, shocks back here They've made this back door lighter. It's a magnesium and aluminum composite, so it, it, it's a lot lighter, closes a lot easier. And you can see that they added this plate right here. It tells you where it was developed in, where it was built in. Also a little bit about the water fording, the overall length and the wheelbase of the four door and the two door. So this particular one has an overall length of 188.2 and a wheelbase of 118.4 inches so kind of neat right there now I really like that backup camera when we get inside the vehicle you'll be able to tell just how nice that backup camera is going down this side just really gotta like the redesign they got a little pocket right here for better air induction has the enter and go system so you just have to have the key fob in your pocket the doors will unlock automatically the interior you can see they've done a nice job with keeping the Rubicon stitching in the backrest the red stitching on the seats has your lumbar adjust right here your driver's seat height adjust you have your factory floor mats throughout door handles a little different and uh, you got your mirror controls right there your power locks right there it has the auto headlamps and you can see the first thing you'll notice is that it has a whole new instrument cluster 7 inch TFT display you got your temperature or your outside I'm sorry your compass on the left your outside temperature on the right you got your odometer on the bottom and then you have your digital speedometer in the middle this is also you can go through all the different you know screen set up and it's just got a whole bunch of different information things one of the things that I liked most about it is that you get the vehicle info so you got your tire pressures there as well and then you got this off-road mode or your this off-road um, display which tells you what's all going on with the vehicle so you can see right now we got the sway bar connected but if you go to this one, this is cool, it, it shows your pitch and roll, so it'll actually tell you, you know, on an incline what your degrees are, if the vehicle is higher on one side or the other, which is pretty, pretty neat that it detects all that and shows you in a digital display right on your screen there. Um, steering wheel has been redesigned. It is a heated steering wheel that you have the option to do in the Rubicon. You got your Bluetooth audio controls on that side, your cruise controls on this side. You can see it has the red stitching in the steering wheel. Very good looking steering wheel. Um, you know, it's kind of contoured to fit your hands better. And, uh, and it's heated, which is awesome. They now come with the 8.4 touchscreen radio, which is really, really a nice feature. Uh, you can also get the 7 inch radio in these as well you can control your climate these are all the apps that you can do you can take any of these and bring it down to the controls so this is the Uconnect 4 system 
This one also has the factory navigation system in it and it's uh, you got a little Wrangler right there on the display which is really cool and you have your climate controls which you can do right there as well and finally you have your heated seat controls you got a dimmed mirror and auto dimming mirror in these also you have the assist and SOS buttons up there and uh, finally the kind of the coolest thing about the Wranglers I think from a safety stand standpoint is this backup camera how nice this backup camera is um, it is super HD super crisp and uh, you know you, those lines they turn with the steering wheel very cool feature very very nicely done everybody's gripe was that Wranglers didn't have a backup camera well now they have one of the best backup cameras on the market uh, you also have your AM FM Sirius satellite radio capabilities this one is Android compatible Android Auto Apple CarPlay all compatible with that moving down here you got your dual climate control heated seats heated steering wheel front defrost rear defrost this is your start stop button now when you get the 3.6 with the 8 speed comes with the start spot start stop feature which saves you fuel economy or saves you fuel at a stoplight you also have your downhill assist control they've changed the Rubicon off-road buttons a little bit so you can lock the front and rear axles both or you can just do the rear and then your sway bar disconnect button is right there as well you have your 4x4 shifter on the floor the new 8-speed automatic transmission shifter is different as well uh, very very nicely done you have your power windows there and finally you got a media control so you have an AUGS a USB and then a USB-C uh, USB mini C uh, plug right there to charge or connect to the radio which is a really neat feature you still have the locking glove box the center console is I believe it's a lot bigger than the old one not much bigger but definitely bigger and uh, you do get a little bit of storage in there as well passenger seat is very clean as well very good looking the top roof pieces go on much as the same as the old ones you still have your clamps right there it does have these little guides which allow you to get the roof pieces on I guess a little bit cleaner and in the right spot a little bit easier but you still have the clamps back there the only thing I didn't see is they don't have the screw-ins like they had on the old JK's you don't have those anymore so you don't have to take those out I think they found that a lot of people just took them out and left them out because they're kind of a pain in the butt to get in and out but they made this like I said just like the back hard top piece they've made this kind of like an eggshell finish to it but very good looking and uh, you can see that the dash is all kind of like this matte or anodized red color for the Rubicon package now I I'm yet to know if they're gonna change the color depending on the color of your vehicle if that's gonna be like color coordinated to the color of your vehicle or if that's just something special for the Rubicon package but anyways that's the uh, front interior we'll take a quick look at the back interior and one of the first things you'll notice is that boy it seems like a lot more room than the the old Wranglers well it is more room and it's a lot more leg space and it I would imagine it's easier to get a car seat back here if you got kids that need car seats it does have the latch child safety system you have a 115 volt 150 watt plug-in and then back here you get two USB and two USB C jacks as well so definitely thinking of connectivity in the Wrangler and uh, factory floor mats kind of the same as the old ones so you'll notice when I put this seat down that they go down almost completely flat they've got the little flap here so nothing falls in, bet in between your seat and the floor there but you'll notice that there's definitely a lot more room it didn't catch on the backrest of that seat which is nice 
and uh, just just a really nice redesign that they've done. These backrests have little spots to hang stuff I can imagine on. And uh, we'll take a quick look under the hood. Oh, this one also has blind spot indicators in it. So if you uh, have some of your blind spot, it'll beep at you and it'll light those up, which is a new safety feature that the, Rub or that the Wrangler never had. To get these um, hood latches off, just go like that. You gotta push down the hood a little bit and then it flips open like that. Same thing with this side. Under the hood, the first thing you'll notice is that the prop rod is up there now. But this is a 3.6 liter V6 Pentastar motor. 285 horsepower, just like the last one, but a lot faster because of that 8-speed automatic transmission. They've done a very nice redesign on this Wrangler. Very good looking vehicle. And I just wanted to uh, quickly touch on, I don't know if I showed this before, but they've changed the key fob as well. So this is your enter and go key fob. It's a very heavy duty key fob, you know, well built, kind of like the Wrangler. And it does have the key that comes out in case you get locked out of the vehicle. But I did want to show you those uh, headlights because they're pretty impressive with those LED headlights, what they look like. So very good looking, very bright at night. I took this for a drive last night. No visibility issues whatsoever. Um, very cool Wrangler. Really thank you for checking out the video. If you like it, want to check out more, go to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash summit auto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and those videos. In fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left. A link to more new Wrangler videos like this one on your right. And if you haven't been to our website on the bottom, a link to this vehicle on our website. Click, us, click that, check us out, and we really look forward to helping you with this super clean 2018 brand new Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon JL. Thanks again. That website again is www.summitauto.com.